Hello, it's Hello. us. We're back. Oh my gosh, long time no see. It's been so long. How have you been? Great, good talk. Um, we're gonna do a tune called Coffee today. This is a jig, which means that it is in 6 8. That's our time signature. And what does that mean? 6 means we've got 6 beats per measure, 8th note, and the 8 means the 8th note gets the beat. Um, so you'll hear it, you can kind of subdivide it as a one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is one of my favorite tunes to teach orchestras by road because we don't use the E string, which means it's very viola and cello friendly. Uh, I think I first learned this tune probably from Sheila years and what? years ago. Yeah, when I came to the session for the first time when I was just huh. a little freshman. I hadn't heard this tune before I came to Durango. And whenever I play this tune in sessions in other places like Ireland or Scotland or Boulder or wherever I play outside, it's all it goes with a set of very well-known tunes. So people always start together, and then by the time this tune comes along, everyone drops out, and they always ask me at the end, "Oh, what is that tune?" So it's kind of a unique tune, at least perhaps I, in my experience, it's kind yeah, of yeah, it's a lot of fun. Unique to the Durango session. So we'll play through it uh, three times. <laughs> Have a listen just to hear how it goes and um, try and recognize, listen for those patterns like you always do. It's two parts. Let's just do it twice, actually. Or should we do it three? You know how I feel about this. All right, we'll do it three then. <laughs> three times through. Uh, have a listen. This is how coffee goes. One, two, ready. <laughs> caught the third pass. <laughs> There's a guitar over there you just can't see. <laughs> um, okay, so like we've talked about in previous videos, when you're learning a tune by ear, it's important to recognize the patterns and kind of break it down into little, little chunks, right? Mm -hmm. Music is chunky. We like it chunky. Look, <laughs> boo. Seen that movie, Madagascar 2? Yes. Yeah, I can't do that voice very well. <laughs> um, so if we were to chunk it out, right, eight measures, two bar phrases perhaps, so <laughs> So if you were to recognize which ones of those are the same, the first and the third are the same, again, it's almost like a conversation, like a calm response. <laughs> Wait, no, I did the wrong. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> we like to talk in diddle it does in, in our fiddle tunes. Um, so, the first phrase sounds like this. You're going to be going back and forth a lot. So, in string crossings, we remember less is more, kind of lots of wrists and fingers. Very, you know, no shoulders, no biceps, no triceps. Everything kind of happens below the elbow to make these really efficient if we really want to get it cranking up later, which, which we might. But 
For the first phrase, we're gonna go E, A, A, G, A, A. That's half of it. That's half of the first phrase. So just E, A, A, G, A, A. Ready, go. Again, and. One more time. Excellent. I'm tunneling there, so I'm holding my E down on the D string, but I'm keeping my A string open. That'll work for violin, viola, and cello. To make your life easier, rather than lifting it up and down, you can just. So. Um, Actually, cello is holding the, the A. There's no open A the way I'm playing it. Really? Playing it, playing playing it You're going below. Clear down on my low E. Um, I suppose I could do. Starting on the E on your D string. I've learned it on the low strings, sorry. Well, I'll just have you walk it through the low strings. But I'll walk through the higher register too. Yeah. That'll work just as well on the cello. One oh oh four oh oh. Like on violin and viola it'll be one oh oh three oh oh. Um so the next part of the phrase goes like this. C B A B A A. One more time. C, B, A, B, A, A. So she's playing down on the G string, 4, 1, O, oh, right? For the C, B, A, or sorry, 4, 3, O. Oh. No, no, I was right the first time. Yeah, 4, 3, O. Oh. 4, 3, 1, excuse me. So I'm going two, one, oh, low two, and then you'll have to use your fourth finger here, violas, violins, I recommend you use it too to hit that E. One more time, C, B, A, E, A, A, ready, and. Excellent, one more time, ready, and. So that's our whole first phrase, which sounds like E, A, A, G, A, A, C, Do that again. Ready and E A A G A A C E A B A B A B A B A B A. Nice. Second phrase starts the same with an E A A G A A. Ready and excellent. Almost ends the same too, but it resolves a little bit different. We're gonna go C B A A B A. Ready and C B A A B A again, just that much. Go one more time and C B A A B A. -B -A. Combine that, you have this. You go B e A A G A A C B A A B -A, -A, A A. Oh no no, sorry, that was the first phrase. Second phrase is what we were doing. E A A G A A C B A A B A. One more time, second phrase. E A A G A A C B A A B A. Ready and. E A A G A A C B A A B A. Awesome. So now we have the first three phrases because the first and the third are the same, right? So this is what we have so far. I'll try and do, I'll try and speak the notes and play them at the same time. It's kind of a brain workout, but I like it. Ta. One, two, first three phrases. Ready and E A A G A A C B A E A A E A A G A A C B A A B A E A A G A A C B A E A A. Yes, great job. I'm sure. 100% I can see in your minds through the camera. <laughs> All right, fourth phrase. You're going to cut it in half. C, B, A, A, B, A. Very similar to how the second phrase ended, right? Ready, and. C, B, A, A, B, A. One more time. And. C, B, A, A, B, A. And ended with an E, D, D, A. E, D, E, A, E, D, E, A, 
Sheila, how are you doing those? If for anyone who wants to use the C and the G strings, what fingerings are you doing? Oh, so I'm going phrase? clear down to my bottom string. I like that low E. E, D, A. Three, one, three, one on your C and your G string cellos. So for violas, that would be a two, one, two, one on your C and G string. Um, okay, let's give it a shot. Whole A part. Woo! <laughs> This is what you do when you have a lot of coffee. Just kidding. That's why this is called coffee. I have coffee a lot. Everyone knows when I've had it and I get really hyper. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready. And. E, A, A, G, A, A, C, B, A, E, A, A, E. Experiment with your bowings. We were just in a workshop with Alistair Fraser, and he's all Scottish. And he says, "You don't want to have boring bow. Your bow must be exciting. It must jump through the river and feel the tunes deep inside of it." I don't know exactly. That but... was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah. But in six eight, our two, our um, our tunes are or our notes are often groups in groups of three, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. You hear a lot. So if you can find ways to slur and kind of connect some of your bowings to make it sound, because if you don't, if you don't do any exciting bowings, it's going to sound like this. Boring bow. But if you make it a little bit more interesting. And Can make those you can make it sound like it flows together a lot easier right okay great do I don't that. know if I could do it as nicely as you did it oh that's that's fine that's you're the nice. master <laughs> <laughs> um, B part before this video gets too long let's play it you want to just play it together so they can get it back in their ear sure maybe that tempo okay Ready. <laughs> That B part is so cool because at the end it's got that. I know, I like that. Super cool. That is something you don't hear often. All right, so this one we will all finger the same because even the cellos and the violas don't have an octave low enough to go lower than the octave that we're going to play it. So we're all going to start on our first finger A on the G string. First phrase sounds like this. So it's kind of a little bit of an arpeggio almost. We're in A minor, so an A minor arpeggio has lots of A's, C naturals, and E's, which is of course what we're going to hit first. We're going to go A, C, E, G, A. One more time, just that. Ready, and A, C, E, G, A. Right? And that A is going to be a yum. That A is a quarter note before going into the eighth notes. Quarter, eight, 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 eight. One, and there would be a one, three, four, five, six. Because the quarter note is two eighth notes, right? So that quarter note takes up the first two eighth note space. So one, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, one, three, four, five, six, one and two, two. Let's try that just the, one more time. Same thing. Ready, and. Nice, and then to bring it down, you're gonna go C, B, A, G, E, D, C, B, A, G, E, D, ready, and. C naturals, low 
two for the violins and violas, second finger for the cellos, one more time, just that much on the C, and. Excellent, combine those, we're gonna go A, C, E, G, A, C, B, A, G, E, D, ready, and. Next phrase sounds almost exactly the same. We start at the same. And then we just resolve C, B, A, A. Can I hear just C, B, A, A? Easy peasy, so let's play A, C, E, G, A, C, B, A, A. phrases together to ready and nice one more time ready and excellent gosh it's almost like you've played this before <laughs> All right, next phrase goes like this. And this is where we get to the cool little bit. That, of course, is the same. We've done that little arpeggio before. A, C, E, G, A. D, C. So A, G, E, B, G, A, D, C. Try just that much. Ready, and. That leads us into the final phrase, which has that cool little cut. So repeat after me. A, G, D, C. Ready, and. Again, and. A, G, D, C. Ready, go. Nice. And final measure, A, G, E, D, E, A, ready, and A, G, E, D, E, A, one more time, ready, and. All right, so to combine that last phrase, kind of hard because it's cutting off that second phrase if I'm being religious to the two bar phrases that we've been working on it, it sounds a little bit strange so let's play the third and the fourth phrase together it's actually easier to play those together it sounds like this just that much three times in a row ready Let's try it together at that tempo. Remember the A parts. Oh, we haven't done the B part by itself yet. We gotta do the B part. That so was the B part. I know, but like all together. We chunked it. Oh, unchunk. Unchunk, full B part. <laughs> <laughs> Technical term, I have a degree. <laughs> Ready, and. Excellent, let's 
try the whole thing. Remember the A part? Yada dee da dee 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 One A A B B One Two Ready Great. Okay, so that's the A part and the B part of copy. Um, it's a really fun jig. Like I said, experiment with the bowings, experiment with some of those ornaments. Um, I don't really want to go into too much of that right now just because that's a lot to handle when you're still trying to get the notes and the rhythms and under your fingers. But jigs are super fun to mess with your bowings. Really easy to add ornaments to those too. Those six, eight time signatures are just asking for it. That's for sure. The only thing that I would say is different for the cellos, you know, instead of ending those phrases at that high A, because, you know, if you're going, they're trying to do a turnaround from the B part and get back into the A part, because if you're playing it way low down here, that is a long stretch. So instead of doing the high A, I end. So. Because then I'm right down here to go back into the A part. Because otherwise it's really hard to get over there. But if, you're, if you've chosen to play the tune in these high notes, then you should end up on the high. Mm -hmm. You can play this in two, two registers. Yeah, um, they call that octave displacement. So if you think that it works better for the melodic contour, to, that absolutely works, what Sheila's doing there, right? And she's going instead of... Instead of... She's going... But... Octave A's. Sounds good either way. Sick! Go drink some coffee. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe. Just kidding. I don't care if you like or subscribe. I just care that you do your homework. <laughs> <laughs>